M3FJZ here. This video here is going to document how I run my ladder line from the uh, from the shack out to the actual loop antenna. And uh, it starts here at my balance tuner. And the outer, it's a um, link coupled balance tuner. The outer coil is the 50 ohm side. It's it's connected to the rig through a, the coax, 50 ohm coax. Uh, there's the clip leads where I will select the uh, primary taps based on SWR return through that 50 ohm line back to the rig. It um, the coax is then connected to the uh, MFJ watt meter SWR meter down there where it says ANT comes out of that uh, watt meter SWR meter over to the actual rig and there's the 50 amp or 50 watt amp okay so on the secondary side I have clip leads that select the taps I have a parallel tuning capacitor and then the ladder line starts here. These two red clip leads comes up. It's attached to my wall. Goes down a few inches into two holes on the workbench. That then comes on this side of the workbench leg down to the floor I get the light in here actually goes through the wooden floor I have two insulators here and I'll pick up it goes down into the crawl space okay here we are in the crawl space here's where the uh, Ladder line comes through the floor. I can get up in there. And there's two insulating sleeves that make the 90 degree bend there at that wood board there. The ladder line continues. over to the block wall goes out through two pieces of half inch PVC water pipe that I have cemented into that block and that there's two holes that penetrate that block to the outside here's the other side of that block wall under the deck the ladder line continues as ladder line and it's it's never changed it's been ladder line the whole way goes up under the deck over to over to a a junction there I have a piece of um, conduit PVC where the uh, ladder line uh, terminates into two banana jacks okay here's the other side of that termination you can see I have two banana jacks That I can, one of, if I had, think thunderstorms are coming, I'll pull these out and throw this across the yard to the other side. Comes down. Goes up to the deck. Up to another support. Goes over up to the loop and the loop is supported in four places. It's a actual square, completely square loop. There's one insulator there. Here's where it connects to the loop. 
Okay, goes over. to a light pole that I have. There's the one insulator on the corner. Comes down to the shed. There's an insulator there. Comes up to a, it's about a 25 foot mast made from three 16 foot two by fours. I hope I'm pointing, the sunlight's so bright I can't see the display that well. Goes up to that insulator. That mass is just simply attached to the fence. Continues up. Back over to the other insulator. There it is comes over to this tree, comes down, and I have a turnbuckle here, or what are, no, a cleat, whatever the proper term is, and I can lower the uh, Lower the antenna. Okay, and here's where the ladder line attaches to the loop. And that's the insulator connection. So, there's my loop antenna and how the ladder line feeds it. Hello, N3FJZ here. Okay, I want to demonstrate how I use my link couple tuner to uh, match my 80 meter full wave loop fed by 600 ohm ladder line to my Bidex like rig, uh, the output, 50 ohm output of that rig. Okay, so uh, typically what I'll do is I have a switch on my balance modulator. If I can find it, there it is. That I throw, which unbalances the modulator so that the uh, 
the uh, carrier passes through the bridge, through the balance bridge. Okay, so what I'll do, and I'm going to use about one watt here just to prevent any sort of interference. N3FJZ is the frequency in use. This is N3FJZ testing. Okay, so I will unbalance the bridge, or the balance modulator, I should say. And I want to dial this back to about one watt or two. Okay, it looks around one or two watts. Okay. So typically what I'll do is I'll, using very low power, one or two watts, um, set my uh, SWR bridge to uh, reverse power. And this is going to be difficult because I can't hold the phone and adjust the bridge at the same time. So let me see if I can work something out here. Okay, here we go. Alright, what I'm doing is turning the tuning capacitor here. Try to get a dip. And that's really not good enough. So I'll change the tap. Try it again. Again, I'll be turning the uh, tuning capacitor, trying to get that as low as possible. Okay, and then do an SWR set and switch to SWR and tune this capacitor for a one to one match. Okay, and there we go. And that's how I do it. So with a combination of alligator clip leads on this balanced tuner and these taps are found by experimentation of course and then there's that's the 50 ohm side alligator clips will adjust the um, selection on the primary side of the balance link tuner and of course the output side is this inner coil and then there's a parallel tuning capacitor. You know, disregard the strange tuning arrangement. This tuning capacitor was part of a uh, Michigan Mighty Might that I built and I just tore off the coil and everything else associated with it and just kept the capacitor and kind of just soldered things together just to have some... You know, I was lazy. I didn't want to build another stand for a capacitor. So, And then the two red clips they are the uh, 600 ohm ladder line that goes out to the full wave horizontal loop. And as you can see, um, let's see, I'm SWR here. It's a dead on match. There is no reflected power that I can measure with this MFJ SWR meter. Okay, now what I'll do, and my balance modulator is still unbalanced. And let's see, we're on 5 watts, and we're about 2.5 watts out. Alright, so what I'll do, and again I'll see if I can... Let me adjust some things here. I don't want to go for 50 watts. Okay, try this again. There we go. There's our 50 watts.
in reverse power is dead on. This is N3FJZ testing. N3 FJZ testing. It's reverse forward power. N3 FJZ testing. So, again, apologies for the poor camera technique. I'm trying to do what requires three hands with two. So, that's how I tune up my uh, rig to the antenna. 7-3 everyone, N3 FJZ.